My name is Gerhard Ramke. I'm chief pilot at Baltic. We're currently on an Airbus 220 in the 300 version, so the longer version of the Airbus 220. The aircraft takes about 150 passengers. We fly at an altitude of 41,000 feet and we've got a range of more than 3,500 nautical miles. So the flight deck itself is state of the art. It's a full glass cockpit, no round dial instruments anymore. All of the data is projected onto these screens. So available for our routing and for the performance of the aircraft is the, the FMS, the flight management system. The flight management system feeds the aircraft um, with the data where to go and how to do all of that when it comes to engine performance and so forth. So we've got a cursor wandering around on the screens. I've got different pages where I can implement the data and this will then feed the autopilot into towards what it needs to do at certain stages of the flight. You've got side stick technology, so we don't have any yoke taking away the view anymore from our instruments. It's got movable rotor throttles, which means that the throttles give the feedback on the current power setting. The pedals down here are to move the rudder, and on the ground you could move the nose wheel to steer it. This panel up here operates all of the systems. It's basically meant to be set before the flight. Actually, it's designed to have a dark cockpit, so there should be no lights on. And if you don't have any non-normals, then there should be no necessity really to switch anything in flight. If we would go for a takeoff now, we would have made sure that all of the panels are set accordingly. Then we would have set up FMS. Then we would have our maps uh, set accordingly here in, just in front of us. I've got an airport moving map here so that I can see exactly where to taxi. On the takeoff run itself, we would put the power into a certain position, check that the engine values are stable, and then the order throttle system would be taking over from there. Then with my side stick at a certain speed, I would rotate the aircraft into a certain pitch value and then continue the takeoff. And at some point, although I'd love to do the entire flight manually, I would switch the autopilot on. <laughs> 